Oh, good. Good. Last thing I want to deal with right now is a frickin' hog SOB. All right, we're leaving. We're going to peace out of this island. And we're going to try and do it before we get uh, gored to death by this vicious creature. Geeks, what is going on? Unite the Clans here, back in your life, back in all your lives with another episode of Don't Starve Shipwrecked. Nope, that's not what this game's called. Idiot. The Flame and the Flood, I get in too much of a mode. Whatever, it's got boats, it's a survival game. We're in rough shape. We just killed our first hog, our first pig. Not the pig men from Shipwrecked. There are actually a lot of comparisons. So we're currently suffering from lacerations, stitching kits, or bandages. Bandage made with alcohol and rags. Stitching kit is a hook and a fishing line. I don't have any of this stuff. And we also have an infection which needs to be cleared with penicillin. Uh, we gotta set out. Otherwise, things are gonna get bad for us. Alright guys. Back on the ocean. The damn, not the ocean, the river. And our goal is to stay to the right side of this this river and hit any spots that are in striking distance. I think though we have a bit of river to travel before we see uh, the next the next uh, ports, the next spots we can set a course for and we're hungry. Okay, well I'm not gonna try and eat while I'm rafting. I think we can survive it, but um, our, you know, our infection and our lacerations are two things that are only gonna get worse. They do not clear themselves up. So that's a boat repair place. I think we're going to skip it and we're going to make a break for the left side now. I'm going to switch sides of the river and I want to make it to that farm. That farm is my goal. I, I like what uh, the possibilities of what you'll find out at a farm. Yes! Push and we're good. We're good. This one really pulls us all the way to the left side here. Uh, so we're going to have a hard time making it even back to the middle. Sebastian's chicken coop. A source of wild food and clean water. Hopefully a source of alcohol, rags, uh, some of the other things we're going to need to fix ourselves up. I'm not thinking about cattails right now. We're in a pretty dire situation. Check the cash. We're in a pretty dire situation and I want to take all. Take that campfire. That's cool. That's a decent start. These are brambles so you get caught up in those. Things get bad for you. I'm not worried about saplings right now, buddy. We need to find... Sumac? Can I make sumac tea? Won't clear up what's wrong with me, will it? Won't clear it up a damn thing. Um, no. I need moldy lump. I need to find a moldy lump or I need to find alcohol and a rag. And if I don't find those things, we're going to die and everything else here is irrelevant. Salt? That's, that's fine. It's a good thing to find. It turns your meats into jerky. But, um... I, well, inventory full. Of what? I can't even take flint? Okay, let's see what we can do to cure ourselves up right now. I'll make this jerky. Because I haven't cooked our meat yet. And uh, we'll see about... Uh, I do have cooked... What do I have? Do I have cooked meat? I don't have anything. Yes, I do. Okay, consume. Now it's raining. Now it's raining. Things are not good for us right now. Um, I guess I gotta drink this water. Consume, remind me to fill that water jar on the way out, guys. And we gotta find, we gotta find what we need. More water. Yep. Oh, I can fill a jar right here. Pure, clean water? I hope we got clean water out of that. Uh, these, you can tell my movement is only getting worse. The, uh, infection. Just the, oh, corn. Corn is good. Corn is good. That'll keep us alive longer. But, I mean, if these... If this infection, if I can't clear this infection, if I can't sew up or, or bandage my lacerations, then we're going to get another infection. I don't even have time to stop and gather up all these cattails, knowing how valuable they are. We have a few in our inventory, and we need to find something better and safer. And we need to clear up our injuries before they take us and we succumb to them. So in the crazy storms here, we're going to set back out onto this river. I can make it to the boat repair place, I can't. So we're not even going to try. We're going to push for the middle of the river in this 100 meter campground. I think even that is too far upstream for us. It feels like it. It very much feels like it. No way I'm making this, right? No. Okay. Push for the wilderness. Push for this forest. 
and we're headed back to the right side. See, once you start trying to crisscross that river, you miss him. You miss him. You gotta pick a side, at least if you're my skill level. Oh good, the rain lets up. The Isle of Kyle. I love the name. I'm really hoping we find some booze and rags here. I think I have the rags. I need the booze or I need some moldy lumps. That is poison ivy or something bad, so I'm not going to go in there. Man, we got rabbits. We could... Sh There's a lot of good stuff here, but... I'm, I'm more interested in searching for what's going to keep us alive right now. Rags. That's good. Find me some booze. Tell me there's some booze in these stitching kit. Yes, that can heal up our lacerations. Let's stitch ourselves shut before it gets worse. God, that laceration almost became an infection. Now we just need a moldy lump. Which I don't know how to find. I, I want to sleep. I want to sleep. What's in our inventory? Can I eat this? Yeah, I'll eat this. And we'll, we'll sleep. We'll get, we'll get a few hours of sleep and we'll try and restore ourselves. Hopefully my stamina, or whatever you call it, hopefully everything can, uh, can hold up as we do this. How bad of a shape am I in as I wake up? Not so bad. Not so bad at all. Wild garlic? That's not going to cure a damn thing, but I'll take it with me. I want to find that mold. You often find them in old containers, things like that. Water? I'll just drink from it. Risk it. Okay, good. Thank God. That's keeping us healthy. and If not recovering, is still helping us out. Dandelions. Uh... No, I got plenty of dandelions. I really can't even mess around on this island. I'm passing up rabbits, I'm passing up saplings, and other valuable things. But I got good reason. We need to we need to get our butts out of here. We need to carry on before this infection takes me. If I don't find that penicillin, things are going to get ugly, and they're going to get ugly fast. Whew. Guys, you, uh, you can tell survival games, they get me on edge. I sit down to record and I am terrified because I never know what's going to happen. Am I going to die and because of my poor gameplay make this a bad episode? There's games I can play where it doesn't matter how good I am at actually playing the game, right? There's games that I can play and we, you guys can have the exact same, you can have a great time whether I'm good or bad. But when it comes to survival games, if the YouTuber you like to watch isn't good... Then, um, yeah, that, that makes it a little harder to watch, I would have to say. Because it can be frustrating, because you look at it and go, Hey, I can do that. Well, why don't you? Go start your own damn YouTube channel. This one's mine, and I suck at video games. <laughs> Salt. Cool. Uh, I'm sticking to the right. Sticking it when in doubt, go right. And we gotta slow down, otherwise I'm not getting past that big floaty house there. Okay. Oh, yeah, nightfall. Oh, God, that house is gonna be the bane of us. Yes. Okay, we just blew past it. There are strong currents. Oh no, we're coming into it. D go right. Stay right. Stay right. And we're coming into a dangerous part of the river right here. Entering St. Anthony's Bend. Region 2 of 10. Cool, we have hit a checkpoint and hopefully, no matter how we die of this infection now, we'll at least be coming at it from this checkpoint. Get, get searched. Okay, fishing line. Cool. Uh, the first place I see that gives me any hint of giving us the mold we need to make penicillin, that, um, that's where we're stopping. I see a farm. Farm's a decent enough spot. It's a decent enough spot to look. Oh, f there's a, f a bait shop, too. Oh, sepsis. We're in sepsis. That is the toxicity of the blood. Infection is cured. Well, you can say cured. It's, it's worsened into sepsis. Okay, so we're going to check here real quick, and if we don't find it... Actually, we... I mean, penicillin might not even do the trick at this point. Let's see. What the hell's going on? How do you cure sepsis? More penicillin. Okay. Treat it fast, or death will take you. Organs shut down, and the body gives out. So what do I have in my inventory? And what can we throw on the raft? Man, that sepsis doesn't last a whole lot of time, eh? Okay, uh... Move to Aesop. I'm going to move this to me just so I can make it as soon as I find it. Uh, move to Raft. I don't even have time to run around messing with this. Alright, off we go. We're hungry. We're thirsty. We're in sepsis. Our blood is literally killing us and sucking the life out of us. And the thing that we need to find is mold. Some old ass mold. This is a cool spot, man. You know what? I bet just find some old mole with all these mills around. Somewhere in here. Nuts and bolts. I mean, that's good. That's valuable. I can't afford to sleep tonight. This sepsis will kill me before I get an hour's sleep, I think. Loot. 
Salt. God damn, I was really hoping from old... Maybe there's another one of those old buildings. Water? We're gonna risk it. We're gonna risk it and we're gonna drink straight from this thing. Yep, we're fine. I think maybe all well water's good. Maybe all well water keeps you alive. Cattails, that isn't gonna do a damn thing to keep us alive right now, is it? Corn. I mean, corn's great. That keep us from starving to death, right? I could eat it raw if I had to. Mulberries too, I'll take those. And we'll search here. Come on, mold. Please be old, not mold. Oh, good. Good. Last thing I want to deal with right now is a frickin' hog SOB. Alright, we're leaving. We're gonna peace out of this island. And we're gonna try and do it before we get uh, b gored to death by this vicious creature. Leave us alone. Go away. Go away. Sh shut up. Oh god, guys. The tension. The tension. I can't stand it. Why don't you um, give me a minute, guys? I'm going to take a break. I'll get my inventory sorted, and I'll set out for a new island, hopefully in search of the mold we need to cure this disease, the sepsis. These are dire frickin' straits, guys, and I am back on the river. We're headed straight for this campground, and fingers crossed, camp olive oil. I'm going to show you the current state of my sepsis, which... I think is gonna kill me by shutting down my organs. Whatever that is, 75, 80% of the way there. I think this island is our last best shot at mold and not having to fall back to a checkpoint. This is a hard game. It's a survival game all the way. We got old houses and we got old boxes. Our chances are okay. Uh, they're okay, they're not amazing. I, th I see three de two more decent chances. No flint. Okay, come on. This place is going to have some mold in it. It definitely is. It definitely is going to have it. Let's just stay positive. Loot. Loot it. Okay, that's fine. Blurry vision ain't going to stop me. Ain't never stopped me. Sapling. Uh, nothing I can do but penicillin, uh, which is from mold. Uh, so cattails, ignoring them. They're just a time sink at this point. God, things have gotten bad. That first thing, uh, I mean, those lacerations, they just wrecked us. Yeah, we've... What, 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 what? Yucca, shoot. Old mold. Give me a reward of old mold. Check cash. Do I have any collections? Nothing to collect. What's my task? What's my task? Chirp. That's it. All right, guys, this will be a shorter episode of The Flame and the Flood. Before I continue, I'm going to make sure that we're not back at the very beginning. If that's the case, i got to change some settings. Let's see if it gives us days survived. Five distance traveled, 3.8. I've been 9.8 in the past. So there we go. Uh, I think this is a location. We'll see. Let's click continue, and we'll see. So Glen's Rapids. I swear I tried this last time. Glens Rapids. Fingers crossed. If this puts me back at frickin' Pine Camp Pinewood. Okay, cool. So guys, I will carry off where I'm leaving you now in the next episode, and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll do better. We'll survive. Thank you for watching this one, and I will see you in the next. A new day rises on Ocean's Gate. Geeks, what is going on? Unite the Clans here, back in your life with a brand new season of Minecraft. We are back, we are back here at Ocean's Glorious Gate, the place you all chose for me a year ago. Uh, exactly a year ago, guys, I posted my very first video. And in it, I showed off five glorious, amazing Minecraft seeds and asked you to help me pick a home, help me pick a place to play. And you did. You chose this one. And over the course of 20 amazing episodes, we built everything you see here. And we're back. It's season two. I have a new skin and we have a new version of Minecraft. This is 1.8.9, which means one thing. We can fly. Uh, I don't know how to get into the groove and out of the, the dramatic. There you go. We're gliding. We are gliding. Let's duck in and out of our old buildings, our old builds. Yes, yes, yes.